Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Katie and today we're going to be talking about the books I'm kind of reading for July. So if you missed a video that I posted last month, I talked about July and how uh, every month I do my TBR Around the World game but July is my birthday month, so I am going to be a mood reading this month, for the most part. I do have books that I have for review, but other than that, I am going to be mood reading. So I thought, while on camera, I would pick a few books that I was interested in reading. So, I just dropped my ponytail holder. <laughs> so before we get started, I just wanted to talk about the Christian Book Club pick for July. Yes, I actually remembered to post about that, instead of just posting it on my uh, community tab, but we are going to be reading a book of the Bible again since that one came up. Um, we did read a book of the Bible a few months ago, but we ended up getting a non-fiction non non as our pick a few months ago, and we ended up picking a book of the Bible. And then this month we got a book of the Bible as our choice. So we are reading Romans, I believe. So if you'd like to buddy read with us, feel free to, and we talk about it at the end of the month, which I did forget to talk about Ruth at the end of, what was it? May, the end of May, I forgot, because I didn't end up reading it until like the first week of June. So that happened, got behind a little bit, but I like read Ruth like fairly recently, so I just reread it. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be reading Romans, which I actually haven't read recently, so that's good. But okay, so let's talk about some books. So I have a lot of books I'm in the mood for. Please forgive the thunder in the background. It's a very stormy day and I just decided to film this spare of the moment. But anyways, so it's going to be pretty stormy and rainy like all week. So there's really like no, no time to film. So <laughs> but anyways, so um, there is one that I'm very excited about, which I know I'll be reading. It is technically one that I need to read for a review anyways, but I am in the mood to read it. And I've talked about this book many times and I still haven't started it yet. And that is The All-American by Susie Finkbeiner. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. The cover is gorgeous. I love this cover. I just, I love that it's about a girl in the 1960s and she wants to be, or 1950s, and she wants to be a female baseball player. And I just, I need that book in my life. I do. I really do. So, so yeah, I'm mood reading that. And then I'm also going to be, um, I am going to, going to be rolling one roll for my read around the world-a-thon because that's my yearly reading challenge with all of you. So I will link all the graphics down below in the, co in the comics, not the comments, in the description box. Wow, my tongue is just rolling away and not connected to my brain today. But it will be in the description box. So all the graphics will be there if you want to play my uh, read around the world a thon with me. You can roll once a month or you can do the entire board uh, every month if you want. But just put a sticker or something to so you know what place you are in the last month. That's what I do. I put stickers. Okay, well, this is easy enough. I totally forgot that I'm on, I was on the last cloud space last month for my Read Around the world thon So I don't even have to technically roll, but we will roll anyway. And we got a six. It's a nice big number, but, <laughs> but we only have to go one more space. So I finished the board. I will next month in August start over and maybe see if I can go through the board one more time before the end of the year. I mean, it took me almost seven months to, yeah, seven months to get through the whole board. So let's see if we can do it in another five, maybe. We'll see. But yay, so that's Reader's Choice. Um, I feel like that fits perfectly in with my mood reading month. So I'm honestly probably not going to pick a book for this since it's Reader's Choice. Um, if anything, I will probably read, um, uh, I don't know. I know I've been wanting to read The All-American by Susie Finkbeiner. I'll put the cover here. But that'll be the book that I'm going to pick for that because I've been dying to read it, really wanting to read it since December. So yeah, I want to read that and I have to read it for a book, a book review anyway. So that's my reader's choice. And yay, I finished the board so I can start over again in August and have fun again with you all. So uh, let me know if you play my game. Let me know what you get for your roll or rolls if you play the entire board every month. I only did one roll each month because I have my big board as well, except this month. But yeah, so um, let's go back into the regular scheduled video. All right, so I do have my cart over here 
which there's a couple books I'm kind of eyeing a little bit um, that I'm kind of interested in. So, I don't know. But I thought I'd pick a, books, pick a couple books that are kind of like, um, what was I going to say? A pile of possibilities. Books that I'm in the mood to read right now, but I might not be in the mood to read them next week when the month actually starts. So, but why not just, you know, point out a few. So, let's bring over this giant book card. So, you guys never see my book card. I don't even know if I can tilt you. Let's see. Tilt you. There it is. <laughs> I won't tilt you so far, but that's a book card. So, I just thought maybe I could, like, pick out a couple books that I'm in the mood to read right this minute. Now, this might change because, I, as I said, July is mood reading month. But, I figured I could put, like, a couple possibilities in case I get stuck. <laughs> but these these are what I'm in the mood for right now. So I see a duology that I've been dying to read. I got both of them like a year or two ago. And that is, if I can get them out, Sky Hunter and Steel Striker by Mary Lou. And these covers, I got them because of the covers. These are gorgeous. And I mean, they have the words on the, on the side and the inside covers. I mean, they, they are gorgeous. Oh. I've been dying to read these books. I got one from the thrift store. I think another one, I probably, oh, oh, I think I got one on Amazon. I think, don't quote me, but I think I did. So these are have definitely been on my radar for quite a long time. And I've been really wanting to read these. So these two are definite possibilities that I really want to read too and really want to get to. So those two are definitely a pile of possibilities. I think I'm going to leave them out. Why not? Leave them out. Let's see, where can I put these? Where do I have room? I also put new vine, new vine decor, if you can't tell. Those are lights, but I didn't actually put batteries in them, so that's always, that's always smart. Put new lights up and you don't put batteries in them. <laughs> that's just me. Okay, so is there anything else on this card that I am in the mood to read? And this is like mood, like as I see it, I want to pick it up and read it. So there's nothing on there that I want to read. Um, no, I'm not in the mood for that. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, I was in the mood to read this. I've been wanting to read more of her books. Oh, I forgot about this one. Oh, ooh, I've heard so many good things about this one. This might be an option. Maybe. Yeah, this might be an option. So, The Length of a String by Alyssa Brent Wiseman. This is a book about a girl who she finds out, um, uh, she lives in a Jewish community, but she finds out that her, um, her mom's grandmother, her great, her, her great grandmother, and uh, she discovers an old journal um, where she was, where her grand, her great grandmother was twelve and fled Nazi occupied Luxembourg alone. So, this book I've heard so many good things about, and I just that one I might, I might be in the mood for. Although, I feel like summer is more of like a like like romance type month. I don't know. I feel like fall is more of like a world like a like a war type story book, but you never know. Okay. Let's see what I have on my shelves here and see if there's anything that I'm in the mood to read right now. I know there's been a couple that I saw. Oh, I forgot about this one. This is one that I am definitely reading this summer. In July or August, it's going to happen. The If I Run series by Terry Blackstock. I have been wanting to read this series for as long as I can remember. Everyone's been telling me I need to read it. So I'm actually going to put you more center here. There, since we're done with the card. All right, but I have been wanting to read this book for so long and the entire series. So I only have book one, so I'm gonna have to get the other two on, um, on, at, at my library. And this one, this one was from my friend Caitlin, so thank you. But I am definitely going to be wanting to read this one. So, um, so yeah, so I'll put this one, I'll put this one. We're just making a pile of possibilities here. Things that I'm in the mood for now, it might not happen. <laughs> it might not. I mean, depending on what I'm in the mood to read when the month actually starts, it could change completely. But I figured, you know, we're here. We're here. We might as well just have fun with it. So let's see what else I'm in the mood for. Oh, yeah, that book. <laughs> oh, I have been wanting to read that one. So I have, let's see. One, two, three, I think four more um, Jamie and Joe Wright books that I have not read yet. So I'm going to put one on the list because I've been wanting to read this one. And this is The Haunting at Bonaventure Circus. And anything, 
anything by Jamie Jo Wright I want to read and I just feel like this is going to be a really good one because it's, it's, it's circus themed and I love circuses so yeah this is definitely one that I am really interested to. Let's see if I can get the sticker off the back here or is it going to be really hard to get off? Eh, I'll just leave it on there. Not bothersome. But yes, yeah, so this is Dual Timeline. 1928, the Beneventure Circus has become a refuge for many. But Pippa Ripley was rejected from its inner circle as a baby and is no longer content to leave the reason for that rejection unquestioned. When she receives messages from someone called the Watchman, she is determined to find him and the connection to her birth. As Pippa's search le leads her to a man seeking justice for his murdered sister, and Evan and evidence that a serial killer has been haunting the circus train, she must decide if uncovering her roots is worth putting herself directly in the path of the killer. Yeah. Okay, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's on the list. All right. So I'm not also, like, I mean, I'm not making a TBR for myself, aren't I? But again, as I said, this is, like, what I'm in the mood for right now. And it's the last week of June, so these could make it on the list. These might not. But these are books that I've been in the mood to read for so long that I want them to be on my mood reading TBR. <laughs> but like I'll read them anytime during the month or this might just be completely messed up and I might not read any of them. So we'll just see. Let's see what else we're in the mood to read. Let's see. Oh, I forgot about that series. Oh, is that more of a summer or fall series? Ooh, I know what I'm in the mood to read and it might be actually my first one of the month. I've read State of Lies by Siri Mitchell and raved about it. And she has one more book that she wrote of like a suspense thriller mystery. And this was called Everything to Hide by Siri Mitchell. And I know this has to do with a girl who has, um, does she have face blindness, I think? I think she does. Okay, why does it say it? But I know she does. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, she can't recognize human faces. So she sees somebody, um, she witnesses a murder. And so the murderer probably thinks that, you know, she knows who, who he is, but she doesn't. She doesn't recognize faces. And so I'm really excited about this one. I have a feeling it's going to be a, a great ride because the other one was Edge of Your Seat. I have a feeling this one is. So I'm really excited. And this is one that, like, yeah, there's no way I'm not going to read this one. Like, I'm so in the mood to read it, like, even right now. Although I have to tell you, the last, like, week or two in June, I've been mood reading. I have gone off my TBR like crazy, so I forgot to tell you, like, did I accomplish my TBR in June? No. No. <laughs> no, I did not. But you know what? That's okay. I read, I think I'll get, I think I'll get between three and four books read on my TBR, so I'll share that in my wrap-up. But yeah, that, yeah. But I'm not giving myself a punishment, um, which is using only one dice, which is a six-sided dice. I'm not going to do that to myself for July because well no TBR game and I'm not going to do it in August so it's like kind of like a freebie month of just like I get to do whatever I want since it's, my, since it's my birthday month I get to just have fun and read whatever I want so that's also kind of this too like I don't have to go off of off of prompts you know I'm not doing any challenges in July you know unless I feel like it but I really I don't think I am I, I have camping trip to look forward to and I just want to relax and hopefully have a good time reading so yeah that's it so I don't know if I'm going to put anything else on my list, because I do have quite a few here. Oh, I did want to read that one, though, didn't I? Yes, I did. Um, let's see. Oh, I wanted to read that one, too. Okay, I'm going to add two more to my list, because I've been wanting to read these for a while. All right, so I'm going to add two more to my list, and the first one is The Weight of Air by Kimberly Duffy. This is another circus-style historical fiction that I've been really wanting to read, is 1911. Um, Mabel McGinnis is Europe's strongest woman and has performed beside her father in the Manzo Brothers Circus her entire life. I, that's all I want to read. I didn't want to read that far because <laughs> I just really want to read this. So, so pile of possibilities. There we go. We got we got a circus theme going on. At least two of them are. And then the last one is Codename Edelweiss by Stephanie Lansom. Um, I read another book by this author and I just, I really enjoyed it. I think I ended up giving it four, four to four and a half stars, but it's it stayed with me. So honestly, it's probably closer to five. But so this one is, uh, I believe it's, oh, it's 1933. And this is kind of about how Adolf Hitler was kind of uh, like during his, during his reign in, during his time in Germany. But it also talks about like the, um, about Los Angeles and about like the, 
the movie business. And I think it's, I don't know if it's going to also have to do with like, because I know, I know that Hitler was really involved with, um, with the movie industry back then. So I have a feeling it's going to have to do with that as well. So I'm just, I'm really excited because just the movie era, just, oh, I just love the movie eras. And so, yeah, I cannot wait to read this one. I think I got this one on, on my trip, um, in May. So I'm really excited to get to it. So this is definitely one that I really want to pick up. So without further ado, this is my pile of possibilities. <laughs> um, oops. I know it's not going to happen because as I said, I am mood reading, but these are ones that, that when I pick them up or when like when I, when I bought them or when I got them, these books have been on my mind since I got them and I just haven't read them. I don't know why. So, but I figured mood reading month, I can read whatever I want. And so these are kind of prioritized in my mood reading month, even though they might not get read, but well, aside from the one I actually have to read for review, but I figured, you know, why not have fun? Why not just pick a couple books that I'm in the mood to read right now? This is what came off my list. I'm sure I had more in my head for this video, but these are what caught my eye right away. You know, um, I know there's actually some more like, I want to read one or two from Joanna Davidson Politano, but um, that might not happen either, but you never know. So this is the list of possible, possible books. <laughs> so yeah, but it might not happen, but it does make a nice color scheme. There's a lot of dark covers. Did you know that? Like a lot of black cover covers there. Um, there's also like books by, whoop, I almost dropped those, books by Morgan L. Bussey that like I would love to read, like her books. I want to read more ever since I read the Mark of the Raven series. Love that. So yeah, so um, yeah, this is just kind of like a fun and short video of just picking out some books that I'm in the mood to read right now. And yeah, so we'll see how how I feel when the end of the when the end of the month comes along and July starts. Who knows? I might just be reading on my Kindle. You know, I could borrow books, um, borrow some of these on Kindle. I'm gonna put these right here. Just to kind of remind myself, I need that book to go back there. <laughs> there. But just to kind of give myself options, if I come up here and say, okay, what am I, what am I in the mood to read? I can look at that and see if I'm in the mood to read any of those ones that I picked up for myself. But yeah, so I figured this would be just a fun video. Um, let me know what you are planning on a reading in July. Do you have any fun summer plans? As far as other than my birthday and camping, no, I don't really have anything planned. Um, I do have some themed vlogs coming your way, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I've already started the one, and I need to do the other one, which actually does have some planned books, so actually they both do. So, but other than that, it's mood reading. That's just a pile of possibilities if I'm in the mood to read them. If not, then, you know, that's okay. But this is more of not necessarily mood reading month, although, yeah, it is, but I'm not doing any challenges. I'm not doing my TBR game. I'm not going to... Um, I might like, like we have like, I have a couple of groups on Facebook that I do like, uh, monthly reading challenges and they do have prompts, but like I can just read whatever I want to and then give the points to the team. Like you get points for reading no matter what you read, even if it doesn't go with the prompt. So I can do those because it doesn't pressure me to go with the prompts if I don't have to or whatever. So yeah. So yeah. If you're doing a readathon, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm not I'm not gonna do any readathons and that's you know I do tons of readathons so I feel like this month I'm just gonna relax and have fun and yeah I definitely needed this month of just relaxing and taking it easy because I feel like I feel like before June I was really reading way too many books and so June has been a lot slower and I feel like July is gonna be a lot slower too so it'll be nice to just relax watch tv if I want to hopefully the weather will clear up and I can start walking again with an audiobook it'll be fun so yeah, so yeah, again, let me know what you're reading and it, it's going to be a fun month of videos and books and yeah, it's going to be fun. All right, so I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video.